Hi, welcome to McWorld. And we're gonna continue our epic journey on Mutant Gear Zero Road to Eden. Thanks a lot to Beard Lady Consulting for giving me this key. This is an awesome opportunity and I'm gonna do my best with this key. I love the game so far. And where we at right now, like halfway in the first video, you get like the story, what's happened, uh, why you are the way you are, and why they got, kind of why they got mutated and, 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 and that what's happening right now is that we're going to take this elevator up to um, the only city there is and I guess bring back the scrap and fix our weapons actually. Um, hey, over here. I just, just love the dialogues, love the... I love so much about this game. It's super awesome. Okay, so we're not. Okay, there's something. We killed some other dude over there. We already took that loot, right? Yeah, there we get the scope. Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna head west. 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 That's something you wear, right? Um, okay, that's the elevator right there. Um, just take a quick look around so we don't lose anything. What is that? Locked required sound key. Maybe we'll get that. Um, well, let's head up. This will bring us to the city, I guess. I really like the story, I enjoy it so much. The <laughs> Elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Okay. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Now we gotta get our human companion. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. So one of the best guys out there is uh, still <coughs> kind of a non-human, <coughs> kind of a human. Is what I was gonna say. We have the Delta Fix Pit, the Prince Place, the Elder, and Iridia's Shop, and the Zone. Let's get the Delta Six print. Want to know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? Mm, sure. <laughs> mm. I like to upgrade that gun. <gasps> scope. Scope. I have a scope. Attached attachment. Oh, this. What? No. Look at that. Without the scope, with the scope. Wow. So sorry I can't, like, turn it around. That's awesome. The gaper, and he has the gaper. We have damage modules. So you can turn the fire, too. This is probably how we gotta do it. Son, this is a gaper. It looks like a big asshole. Because it's a gas powered cannon. And if we put uh, this flame thingy up on there, it just looks so right. So I thought this this has to be it. 
We don't have anything other, right? Like anywhere. No, we don't. Okay. Bye. Bye. Wait. Fix boss was my dad, and my dad just died. So now you're stuck. Take it easy. Okay, I don't care, don't care, don't care. Bye. Um, real shop. Let's go shopping. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. Oh, I like the pipe gun. That could be good too, you yeah. Um Bye now. Bye. There's nothing we wanted in there. Uh, let's go to Prince Place the Delders. I mean the bar, yeah. Oh look, he has the hat on in the movie. He has the hat on. He has the hat on. And it looks awesome. We have one and we could take one of these. Grants a twenty a Swedish song, goddammit. Okay, grants a twenty percent discount in Iridia's shop. Um Iridia have a history and blah 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 blah. She was the best stock going on blah blah blah. Yeah, sure, funny. Unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member. We do not need that. <clears throat> Extend crew bleed out time by two turns. That's what we're gonna have. That's good. I do not feel too good. I'm not healthy at all. <laughs> sure you are. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit. And I'll offer you some guidance. Perhaps a story. <clears throat> to help you become wise and strong. Okay. Well, I'm farewell. Gonna... Remember your elders' guidance. You talk so slow. Okay. Let's head back out to the zone, right? Uh, Hamas Gabin. Go. Yeah. I'm super psyched. Um, I'm so happy aside. I don't know what to do. It's it's. This is actually a great feeling. <laughs> I haven't felt this uh, feeling Thanks in a while. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder. Sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. <laughs> Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm Shut telling you, Borman. Ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. Uh. I, uh, yeah, we need to head that way. That's it. Hammond's cabin. Let me guess. That's not Hammond inside. Yep. Shaman Goals. Shaman level five. We he takes a... everything, but there are no secrets. Where are the secrets? The ones in the north will catch Hammond and squeeze the secrets from his head. Hammond will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. All of it. He's not. I just took some. Um, level five hunters. That seems. 
bit too much right now. Let me grab. It. Oh, no, no! God, what are you. Goodbye, sir. Ow! Serves you right. One. You did it, kid. You're a shaman. Hey, follow me. to assess the situation. No. No. Okay, so if you could... Stay Blue. back. Let's ambush the shit out of him, I guess. <clears throat> we should have saved, right? Too late for that. We could also do it over here. 75, now we want 100. Yes, you know, I'm here now. Great. Um, go home. <laughs> you flew around. Uh, the enemy heard you. Of course he did. Uh, I want to activate you too. Could I shoot from here? Shoot a five. Could I shoot from there? 100. Let's do that. Now you saw me as well, I think. Yes, Dux was caught sneaking. But you're going home, so... Bingo! You finally figured out how to use that thing? Enemy's turn. Hmm. I could run up here and just, like, shoot him out. You could. So the five? Hundred percent? Shoot him flying. Sure. Bye, sir. Now you're out of cover. <coughs> Dax will take care. No! No, Dax can't take care of the rest. Yeah, except he can. I'm reloading. Everything's fine. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, not too shabby. I'm happy with that. Uh, Met K. I don't even know what that is. Okay, one to additional critical damage. Chance to disable robotic enemies at twenty percent. It's a Nuaton EMP thirty. Enclave power brick, which when equipped will give a chance of the weapon emitting electrical projectiles. These can be used to additional damage to mechanical enemies. Cool. Uh, far looker. This tube-like object gives its user the ability to view a distant object up close, but it also comes handy as a weapon if you get it in a tight spot. If you get in a tight spot, how? Yeah, okay, you, you hit with it. Hmm. Yeah, that's... A genius move. Hmm. Well, I guess. Pick up Talonut. <coughs> Over here. I should have picked up everything before I did that. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. 
But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Oh. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something or his brain's got the rot and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Well. <clears throat> well. I don't care about some stupid Eden. But we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. If he's going north, that makes him a grade-A certified loony. No one goes up there, Borman. And what's with those two stalkers he took with him? They should know better. They're following orders, just like us. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder what they're planning. Hmm. Ghouls are too dumb to plan. Someone's pushing them down here. I'm feeling in my feathers. Hmm. Let's see, where are we gonna push to? This place? Or that place? Yeah, about that. <clears throat> Take one step at a time. Zone Dark Camp. As the seasons pass, I am forced further out into the zone to find even the most basic of objects. From top to top, I stumble across the odd hidden place, even in locations I imagine were already cleaned out by stalkers seasons ago. One such place is to be found the rest of the fallen machine. There appears to be remains of an ancient camp, complete with transportable hut. The location is currently home to a pack of zone dogs, who for some reason tolerate my presence near to their breeding grounds. They pick up wandering ghouls and I leave them alone. This unusual symbiosis works for me quite well. <coughs> I think I know why. I think I know why. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I know Duck is Ducks has leveled up, but um, <clears throat> I think I need two points to do anything about it. That is useful. <laughs> wow! Whoa! Check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side. It's like a star. I like the graphics so much. Um, I saw something. Shiny over here. Here. Broken electronics. Aid and scrap. Got the vines again. Well, let's get back to the road and go from there. <laughs> That's why we need to do all this extra searching. Oh, oh, oh. I've never seen a sound dog before. There are two zone dogs. Good. 
Let's run over here and shoot him. And I know I don't. I'm not stupid anymore. I'm totally aware of that. So aim and shoot. Oh, does that hurt? Dago. Do we want to activate him? I do. Shoot is just 50. We're not gonna take that. We're gonna run right towards him and we're gonna shoot him for. Well, we could shoot him from here too, I guess. You need to die, sir. Sir Dog. <laughs> don't mess with me. Yeah, don't mess with me. Enemy heard me. And it's coming. Everything should be fine. Um Let's go with ducks first. Can I do that? I can. I'm gonna go from here. I need to reload my weapon. Then I have to shoot for 75. Mm, let's try it out. That had to hurt. Good, good. And you. Nah, we don't need 75. We could actually right straight in front of him, just shoot him in the head, right? So I'm mad at him. Stay down. That's an execution. Long down campsite, like hundreds of others across the zone, filled with the ghosts of humans who were foolish enough to try to survive out here. At least, that's what the elder says. Okay, we need to... Oh, there's a lot of scrap here. A lot of weapon parts. <coughs> there's a boat. Well, I'm happy with the results. Let's head back and head uh, through the... What is that? I... This, this is where we came from, yeah. Um, I got lost. Now we could upgrade ducks as well. Mutations. Uh, no, we cannot. <laughs> That's cool. Disable an knee shot. Disable an organic enemy's movement for two turns. No need, no problem. You're able to knock a patel off an enemy's leg with a single shot, preventing movement for two turns. I fixed organic enemies only where do I see how much points that ducks have two points available four we could get health by one again I'd like to fly let's let's do this one I guess mm-hmm and you two points available as well Permanently increase. Let's do that. Save the life. And I love that if you size back, he actually has the weapons that you have equipped. With sights and everything. Um. Yeah, well that's that. Oh, go. Okay, so we fought two of those dogs. <laughs> dogs we're gonna meet way up there too later. Oh man, 
We've never been this far from the Ark before. Talk about undiscovered country, huh? You think we finally left the ghouls behind? Yeah, me neither. I the brain must be rotting. Is that a beautiful woman I see before me? Wait, I know that beautiful woman. She's a stalker. Huh. Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're a mutant like us, on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. Then Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. <coughs> Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Of course you are. Selma. The Huntress. Alright, let's check out Selma. What do you have? You have a horn? Hmm, okay. That's weird. Uh, pistol. Silent. Ooh. That's cool. Well, good. Good then. You need two weapons. You always need two weapons in this game. Uh, we have no armor, no helmet. Uh, and your mutations. Seven points, that's a lot. <coughs> so, I think we're gonna do that one and then this one. So, we need a permanent health bonus. They use the same animation, but it looks differently depending on their skeleton. I want to buy super tendons. Yep. Super tendons makes that you can like jump off on high places. And that's without using ladders, and that's awesome. Okay. Let's, um. Well, actually, I'm sorry for this, but I need to end this episode right here. So I'm gonna save so you can see that I saved the game. <coughs> Happy now. <laughs> okay, so we've been playing Mutant Deer Zero. This is the second episode, and uh, we just gotten the character named Zelda. Selma. That is. Uh, well, thanks again for the key. Love the game. Love the graphics so far. Love. Um, I do really enjoy uh, tactical battles. Um, and the ones that I love the most is when they're like this when ten time stands still. Turn based ones, yes. Um so that's that's awesome. Well, um see you in another episode real soon. I hope you enjoyed this content. Let me know in the comments, give give, give this video a big thumbs up, uh please subscribe. See you soon in another episode. <laughs> Bye.